Hey. You must be that Volter everyone's been jamming about. The name's Caleb. Saunders. I'm working on a case at the moment, and I could use a heavy hitter like you. Stop by my house if you get a chance. See you around. Hopefully something we can use this time. Huh. This is good timing. Not exactly what I had in mind to show you, but it'll do. You might be wondering about the dead body here decorating the floor. This poor slob had information on him about a certain individual that I would very much like to see dead. He, uh, resisted my initial questions. But I was able to extract what I needed, eventually. His death was an unfortunate side effect of the process, but I doubt he'll be missed. The man I'm after is known as Bombface. He was a one-time Morovsky associate, whose paw prints are all over the serious crime around these parts. He killed my wife, and does not hesitate to kill anyone else who crosses him. It's taken me months to get this far, and finally I have a lead on the bastard. Question is, will you help me with the next piece of the puzzle? It's probably going to be dangerous. I expect things will get ugly. We're avenging the death of my beautiful wife. It is guaranteed to get ugly. Your discovery really makes you that happy? Nothing is going to get between me and destroying Bombface. Nothing! If it means protecting innocent people from a madman, yes. Wonderful. Mr. Useful here gave me the name and location of one of Bombface's organizers. Give me a few hours to clean this up, and we'll work out how to track this goon down. Good that you're here. Now let me lay out the 411. Apparently this guy, uh, Boris, is one of Bombface's organizers. It's the muscle to where it's needed. We, and by we I mean you, need to extract Bombface's location from him. Don't look at me like that. I can't go near these guys as they all know of me. You would no doubt make me from a hundred yards away. A relative stranger like yourself has a much better chance of getting within striking distance. So, you still up for this? I won't lie. This will be a tough gig. Do we really need to do this the hard way? These scum are the worst of the worst. They only understand fear and power, and they go down hard. Absolutely. I'm in. Okay. Here are the details of Boris's last known whereabouts. I'll beam them to your, uh, wrist computer. Good hunting. Let's rock! <laughs> How'd it go? He's still breathing. What have you got there? It was my pleasure to help out. This is great news. Great news indeed. I feel like we're getting closer now. I can almost smell him. Let me do some research and I'll try and get a fix on our next target. All right. I've managed to decipher the whereabouts of the next monkey link in this chain. His real name is Kelly Carlson, but he goes by the imaginative handle of Knife Point. Real knuckle-dragger that I'm sure no one will shed a tear over. You ready to tackle this one? If you expect me to work for you, I'm gonna need more information than that. This guy's another one of Bombface's low-level organizers. He's one of Boris's known associates. According to my source, he should have some dirt on him that we can use to figure out who the higher-ups are. Good. I'd like to avoid any unnecessary violence. It's funny. Me? I prefer to use the most effective method straight up. More, uh, efficient that way. <laughs> I'll send Knifey Boy's last known coordinates to your, uh, pip -a thingy and we'll eagerly await your return. <clears throat> I was the knife chump. Get anything useful? Maybe I found out something. Do you want their holotapes? Let me see. Oh my. <laughs> this is rich. There's a picture of Knife Point standing next to a man imitating a bear. 
Looks like some kind of hunting trip. I think I know of this guy. Let me check with my source. Come back in a couple hours and I should have something. Now we really are getting somewhere. I feel like we're getting very close to the bastard. Don't worry, Matty. You will be avenged. Soon. So the guy doing the bear impression is none other than Sean McDerry, a.k.a. Grizzly. Where they get their inspiration for the stupid bloody names, I have no idea. The exciting news is that Grizzly is Bombface's red right-hand man. By the way they run their security, I doubt he'll carry anything incriminating on his person. You will most likely have to interrogate him to extract anything useful. Do you have a set of pliers handy? But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. Look, when the bombs dropped, all those politically correct views of the world got thrown out the window. All you can do is fight fire with fire around here, or you just become another squash bug on Destiny's windshield. I always enjoy a good fight. Right. I'm uploading Grizzly's position to you now. Grab him. Please, ensure that you do whatever is required to find out where Bombface is. He will not evade us. How are you this day? I need to ask you something. Of course, I am. As always, a humble servant to the people. Please, tell me, what troubles you? I have something for you. Oh, you were looking for someone. Tell me of it. Perhaps I can offer some guidance in this. Ah, I see. I'm afraid I can't help you. You're after the wrong person. I need your help. <sighs> Very well. Perhaps it is for the best. Caleb sent you after Bombface about his wife. But Caleb is the true danger here. Caleb's wife, Madison, came to me fearing for her life. I'm sure by now you at least have some idea of what Caleb is doing. I will not pass judgment on the man. His work is good, if a bit extreme. She feared that one day he may turn on her and sought my aid. I hid her away, hoping that perhaps time would present an opportunity. Fearing her husband's eye, I opted to hide her away where Caleb would not look for her. Clearly that didn't work. Where is she? She's hidden away, and I think given what I've just revealed to you, you'll understand why that's for the best. Why don't we let our two problems sort each other out. I'll mark Bombface's location for you. Go tell Caleb where he is, and let him continue to believe Maddie is deceased. Whatever you do, leave my name out of the conversation, for my own sake, as well as Madison. It would be a shame if one of Caleb's enemies were to learn of her location. Back? Okay. What did you find out? Take a look. Give me that! You found him. <laughs> That's great! <laughs> Hang on. What's this about? <laughs> you mean to tell me that he didn't kill her? That she's been hiding out from me all this time? This is unbelievable. First order of business. I'm gonna find Bombface and put him down. Then I'm gonna find Maddie and, and thanks for your assistance. I'm gonna go and sort everything out now that I have line of sight of everything that's going on. Farewell. Yes, I found her. She's fine. You mean she's been alive all this time? And hiding from me? Why? She never said anything? Oh, Maddie. This puts the cat amongst the pigeons now. Oh, and, uh, I would suggest you go and talk to the Commonwealth PD. They could, uh, use your help, I think. Well, thanks for all your help. At least I know now that Maddie is alive. Even if she doesn't want to see me. As long as there is still scum out there, I've still got plenty to do. Nothing to report, Captain. You couldn't get anything out of him, huh? Damn! We are so close! Well, 
I suppose this can happen to any case, the longer it drags on. Well, I've still got a few leads I can try and chase down. And I suppose I can keep myself busy by helping out around here. God knows they need it. Maybe I found out something. Amazing. You managed to get it out of him. Bravo. It would be impolite of me to ask how you extracted the location out of the poor fellow. Give me a couple of hours to prepare, and then come back. And we will go and put an end to Bombface. All right. I think I'm ready. Want to go and finish what we started? Not right now, no. Well, please attend to whatever the hell it is you need to, and get your ass back here pronto. This guy is not the patient, wait around to be killed type. Well, this will be an interesting challenge. I hope you're packing a decent load out in there. Bombface will be surrounded with meat shields, and will not go down without some serious encouragement. All right, let's go. We'll recon the place and make a determination on the best way to proceed. Well, by the looks of it, a frontal assault is our only option. Are you ready? You know what? Just kill him. It'll probably come to that, no doubt. Here we go! <clears throat> oh, that feels good. Feels right. Like the angels can sing again! Victory has a sweet, sweet smell, my friend. Oh, and, uh, I would suggest you go and talk to the Commonwealth PD. They could, uh, use your help, I think. They've set up a HQ in the old South Boston police station. Well, thanks, my friend. One less piece of gangster trash in the Commonwealth, and we can all live a bit easier now. I'm gonna have a sniff round and see if there's any intel left. See you back at Concord.